Can you all see the screen? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Okay. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes. Visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let us start your class. Okay, so uh, let, we will start with the basic of bones and joints. So before starting, uh, like in this chapter, I would like to ask you all about bones. So uh, you just imagine like uh, your body without bones. How will it look like? Can anybody tell me? You just imagine your body without bones. How will it look like? Just like a snake. Just like a snake. Okay. Okay. And it will look like a, a balloon filled with water. Yes. It will look like a balloon filled with water. <laughs> balloon filled with water. Okay. And yes. Snake then balloon filled with water. Anybody else? Done. This two only. Okay. Yeah. Of, of, of course, you just imagine your body without bones. It will look like, like shapeless. It's not it. Like it won't have any shape. Your body, your body will not have any shape. So, as you all are having bones, like uh, your body have got like structure. It's not it. Like uh, some are like thin, some are slim, some are a bit fat, some are like average, medium. Not it. Uh, have you heard means uh, metaphor and all those? Like a bit thin, a bit uh, healthy, a bit fat, obese. So all this shape it comes under your bones. Like with the help of your bones only, like uh, you are able to you are able to know the shape. As you can say, you are able to know the structure of your own self as well as as well as for the other person it's not it you all need to say that like oh she is so slim oh he is so thin oh he is so obese or fat or something like that you all you all can like you all can identify it's not it yes or no yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am yes so uh, all this you can identify because of your bones, because your bones will give you uh, like a perfect like, uh, shape, size, all this. Okay, so we will come now to introduction. So bones are what? So bones are like, doesn't give you only the shape or structure or something else. They also protect you. Understand? They uh, protect you as well as they support you. So how does it support you? They support you in doing some physical activities. Say for example, like you think, uh, if your body doesn't consist of uh, bones like that, you just imagine you are doing some like physical exercise, not only physical exercise, like some physical activities and all that. So how will you move? It's like impossible. It's not like it's not possible even. Like there is not even a question that what to say uh, that it will be possible. So it like, like you will be like like this very much rubber, you know? yeah, like shapeless. So it so with the help of your bones, like uh, uh, what to say, like you are getting the support physically. Understand? Like if you give or if you give some force or something, like if you push something, like very much heavy object or something like that, like if you push and if you like. Yeah, if you do any some, if you perform any some like physical activity, like they help you in that. Like they help you in giving you strength. They help you in giving the position. All this, understand? And also as well as they protect your body. How does it? Uh, they protect your body. Say for example, like if any uh, external thing, like it's coming and like coming to hit you, and all those. So what happens if your body doesn't consist of bones, what will happen if it will hit you? You just imagine like your body without bones. 
like you will easily get hurt it's not it like you will easily get hurt and like it might cause you to death also it's not it so because of your body what happens if any like external uh, forces like it's coming coming from the outside world what happens it protects you it supports you it's not it so this is the first one and uh, as well as your body organs also like your body organs in what sense like inside your body you have got bones okay we will come uh, slowly slowly like uh, deeper and deeper in the like in the in the next slide so i'm just uh, sharing with you like say for example ribs you know the ribs like it's in your chest in your chest area so your ribs uh, protects your internal organs or else you can say the visceral organs uh, like say for example your lungs are there your heart is there all this like they give you like the shape so it means they protect your body it is inside means inside inside your body okay are you done with the first point to understand the first point everyone yes yes ma'am Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. Okay, coming to the second. Yes, ma'am. Okay, coming to the second point. Uh, what do they do? They produce various blood cells, and this bone stone they also produce. They make some like uh, blood cells, and also they store minerals. Minerals are also being stored in your bones, and these minerals like they help in they help in mobility. Mobility means like moving from here to there suppose i'm here now like i'm moving now it's not it so like i can move i can i'm moving my body isn't it so i can go from here to there because of what because of bones and also as well as your muscles like your muscles and your bones are uh, connected with each other it's not it? like they are joined with each other they are like interconnected okay they they uh, they work together so for that Uh, the bone can help you in that, like uh, moving from the other place to the other. Okay, so the first is what they uh, they produce, or else they can say they make blood cells, and they also store minerals, and they also help you in like moving from here to there, which is known as mobility. Understand? Like in conjunction with muscle, in conjunction with muscle means what? Like they are linked with muscle, so when they like uh, work together, like obviously they have to work. So, uh, and as a result, like what happens, like, you can move from one place to the other. Is it clear the second point? Ma'am, what is meaning of conjunction? Conjunction means like uh, correlate, means they work together. It means that. मतलब वो लोग एक साथ काम करते हैं, ठीक है? आह मतलब एक साथ काम करते हैं, मसल और बोन्स. समझ में आया बालो यस मैम ओके आई होप एवरीवन यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द सेकंड पॉइंट इज इट क्लियर यस और नो यस मैम यस मैम ओके ओके कमिंग ऑन मूविंग ऑन टू द थर्ड पॉइंट व्हाट इज दिस बोन इज मेड अप ऑफ बोन टिश्यू सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टिश्यू आल्सो इन द अदर क्लास सो So, what is the name of the tissue? Bone tissue is very simple and easy. And this bone tissue, they are made up of dense connective tissue. Understand? So, the bones they are made up of tissue. So, it is a bone tissue, and the bone tissue is it, it comes under the dense connective tissue. This is the name of the bone, the bone tissue, which we will find inside the bones. Are you clear, everyone? This portion. Yes, ma'am. Okay, is it just clear? Shall we yes, move to the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, in bones, like you will also get different types of bones. Okay. So, uh, the, coming to the first one, which is known as long bones. So, this is the long bones. The second is short bones. Third is flat bones. Fourth is cystoid bones, and Uh, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, the fifth is irregular, irregular bones. So these are the types of bones. 
that we will discuss one by one in the next slide. So for now, let me just know that uh, there are different types of bones, which is long bones, short bones, flat bones, sesamoid bones, and irregular bones. Okay, shall we move to the next slide? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, this is just uh, like a slight view that I'm showing it to you. So this is the different types of bones. We will discuss. Let me show you. Okay. So first is the long bones. So in the long bones, you will find diaphysis and epiphysis. Okay, okay. Let me show you. Diaphysis and epiphysis. Can you see this? Can you see this? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma huh? Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. Yes, ma'am. So we have got two parts. Okay, diaphysis. Diaphysis is the longer one, which is in the middle. Okay, uh, which is in the middle portion. This is known as diaphysis. And epiphysis is like in the what to say that the end the end one so this and this do you use uh, you, you always have bones i guess chicken or else some other animal bones also you have you used to have but mostly you can know in chicken yes yes ma'am mm. so when you have some like in case if you doesn't used to observe before, but from now on you just observe. Like in chicken bones also, you can observe it. Like the end portion, the end, uh, the the last two, the last two. Okay, this suppose this is the bone. So the last two, these two bones are known as epiphysis. Okay, and the middle one, which is like the longer one, is known as diaphysis. Okay, so this is the part of the long bones. Is it clear? All this, no need. Whatever is shown to you, all this are not required for you all. You, you all just need to remember this. This is diaphysis and epiphysis. Is it clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. okay. So we are done with the first point. That the long bones have two parts of the diaphysis and epiphysis, and also you will find long bones in your legs, okay, which are femur, tibia, and fibula. Okay, let's see in your legs. This is femur. Listen, which you will find in your legs. This is the femur. This femur is also known as the longest and the strongest bone in the human body. Okay, means in your thigh, in your thigh or also in your leg, you can find the femur. This is the longest and the strongest bone. Strongest bone, why? Because whenever like you stand or do any some, some physical activity, what happens? It, the, the support, the support or else the more, the, the strength usually comes from your thigh. It's not it, like if you run, if you walk, if you do it like something anything like the time from the time when you get up what happens like you, with the help of your thigh like you get up it's not like with the help of that support and uh, how do you come out from the bed like means everything like if you will see like everything comes under the femur not it so it is the longest as well as the strongest bone in the femur bone is it clear it is the part of the long bones Clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Next is tibia. So this is tibia. It means just downside of your femur. This is your femur, right? Which you will find in your thigh. So next is tibia. So tibia is here. Here in this portion. Okay. Don't get confused. Don't think that um, that only this portion is femur or something like that. Both the both. Both of it means in both sides of your leg. Okay, don't get confused. 
this red color um, painted in red color it's colored in red color for you all to understand clearly uh, i have done in this way for you all to understand okay so these two bones are known as yeah it is the part of the long bones which you find in your leg so ye tibia kahan pe milta hai tumhon ka paav pe milta hai ye khumo ke niche hai ठीक है ऐसे मत सोचना कि सिर्फ ये जो पार्ट है टीबिया है ठीक है दोनों पार्ट दोनों पार्ट जो है दोनों तरफ का पाव है हम लोग को टीबिया बोन्स मिलता है ठीक है मैंने लाल का लाल पूरा बहुत कलर किया है इनको ज़्यादा समझ में आने के लिए तो ये कंफ्यूज मत होना ठीक है तो दोनों दोनों पाव में हम लोग को टीबिया मिलता है सो इन टू पार्ट ऑफ दिल्ली क्लियर बोन दूमर If you will find in your thigh, neck, the next tibia. Same thing here. We will find tibia, the next fibula. So all these are the part of the long bones which you will find in your leg. So ये जो सारे bones मैंने जो अभी बोला है femur, femur, tibia, fibula. ये जो सारे bones हैं हम लोग को long bones, long bones में मिलेगा. ठीक है और ये और ये जो long bones हैं मतलब ये जो मैंने जो मेंशन किया ना बोन्स है तो ये सारे बोन्स हम लोग को पाव पर मिलेगा ठीक है सो ऑल दिस पार्ट ऑल दिस पार्ट आर इंक्लूडेड इन योर लेग फोर्स ये जो सारे पार्ट्स मैंने जो अभी बोला है कि पाव मतलब पाव के अंदर आता है लेग के अंदर आता है इज इट क्लियर यस मैम ओके Okay, moving on to the next. Now let's come to arms. Arms. Okay. So arms first. First you will find arms. Arms means what? Here, this portion. Sorry. Right. So arms. Uh, the first long bone that you will find in the arms is numerous. This red color. Okay, this red color. Both sides. Dono tarafs se milega numerous. So this is known as humerus. It is the part of long bones. Clear? I'll ask. I'll ask you all again. No, like where where is your humer? Humer, sorry, where is your humerus? I'll ask you all. Like you all have to show me where is your humerus, where is uh, humer and all this. I'll I'll ask you. So please pay attention. Okay. So this is humerus. Two uh, two sides you will find in the arms. One, two. Okay, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is radius. So this is radius. Hmm. And here, here you will find. Here you will find radius. Both sides, right? Yeah. Red color. Radius. So this is the radius. Next is ulna. So this is ulna. Both sides same thing. Both sides. So all this, uh, so all this are the part of the long bones that we will find in the arm. This humerus, radius, ulna. Humerus is here. Okay, radius is here. Ulna is here. Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now uh, let's move on to the next. That is. That is clavicle. So this is clavicle. Have you heard uh, collar bone, or else you can say beauty bone? Girls mostly they say no beauty bone, but don't. But in India, don't write a no, beauty bone. Just for your understanding, I'm sharing with you all. It is also known as collar bone, clavicle. It is. This is also the part of the long bone. 
here. Clavicle. Then this this one, this one. Whoever are thin, like you will be able to see the collarbone. You will be able to observe it. Like you can even feel it. Whoever are like a bit fat, it will be a bit difficult for them like to find this bone. Clavicle, collarbone. It is also the part, means it is a part of the anatomy. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we move to the next. Next. Next is metacarpus, metatarsals, and phalanx. So let us see what is metacarpus, metatarsals, and phalanx. Okay, so this is so this is metatarsal. So this one, this is your feet, your foot or feet eating foot. Okay, ये तुम लोग का पाव है तो जो हम लोग जमीन में रखते हैं ना पाव चलने के लिए तो ये feet है. F double E T और ऐसे कौन से F double O T. So these are metatarsal. These long long ones. I hope you can see one, two, three, four, five. Means all this counting of the bones, the number of the bones, and all we will discuss like later on. But for now, I I just want you to you all know that uh, the metatarsals are part of. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All these like long, long. You can see it, right? So all these are the are the part of the. All these are the part of long bones, which are known as metatarsals. So you will find only feet. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is metatarsal. Huh? Arsal. What? What is the meaning of arsal? What? Metatarsals. It is. It is the name. The name of this part. ठीक है मेटाटार्सल्स ये जो नेम ये मतलब नाम है ये पाव का ना ये जो दिस इस द पार्ट ऑफ़ द बोन्स दिस इस द लॉन्ग बोन्स सो फीट यू विल फाइंड द फीट विच आर नेस मेटाटार्सल्स हाँ यू विल फाइंड लाइक फाइव ऑफ़ दिस विच आर दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ठीक हम लोगों को पाँच मिलेगा मेटाटार्सल so metacarpals you will find in your fingers here. Yeah. So metacarpals, this yellow color, no? yellow color, all of this. So yeah, so all this, all this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So five. Here yeah, this yellow color, this metacarpals. Metacarpals are the part of this bone. So you will find in your hands, your fingers here. Yeah. So, okay, so these are metacarpals. It is the part of long bones. Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is phalanges. Phalanges. Okay. Phalanges, you have got different types of phalanges. For now, you just know like all these are known as phalanges. Like, we will discuss one. Like, Deeper and deeper, like the different types of phalanges. But for now, you just know that uh, this is phalanges. Okay, means you will find your fingers only. All this, all this, all this, all this. Okay, all the these. Can you see me? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Huh? So all this, these are sare only hai. इसको क्या बोलते हैं फैलेंजेस बोलते हैं तो ऑल दिस फिंगर्स ना वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव तो ऑल दिस आर द पार्ट ऑफ फैलेंजेस इज इट क्लियर मेंस द पार्ट ऑफ यस मैम ओके आई होप एवरीवन इज क्लियर अबाउट लॉन्ग बोन्स यस मैम शॉल वी रिवाइज अगेन 
Do you want me to revise again? Or we will move to, to the next bone? Yeah, we will see it again. Please yeah, move on, ma'am. Next bone, ma'am. Next bone, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, please yeah, continue the... Continue, okay. Yeah, ma'am. Next is short bones. Okay, so these are short bones. So the short bones they appear like a box. Okay, have you seen boxes like small small boxes? Not like they are pencil box and all those. Like small small boxes, cubes and all. Have you seen? Yes or no? Do you know boxes? Like square and all those, no? Yes, ma'am. Cubes and all that. So they look like that. Okay. They means वो दिखने में मतलब boxes का जैसा है. ठीक है छोटा छोटा में मिलेगा. उसको क्या बोलते हैं? Carpal bones. Carpal bones बोलते हैं. So these are known as carpal bones. So the carpal bones you will find in your wrist. You know the wrist where you usually wear like watch or like uh, what do you say that? Bangs, yeah, bangs and all those bangles, all those. You wear, you used to wear something, is that it? So this is known as wrist. So uh, you will find the carpal bones here, which are the part of short bones. Okay, and also tarsal bones. So um, the, the carpal and the tarsal bones are also the part of short bones as well as also the rectus. Don't get confused, but they are like. Yes, we can we can like name them in like both of these ones. Okay, so the tarsal bones where you find in your ankle. I already showed you in the previous slide. So the short bones, the tarsal and the tarsal bones. Is it clear about the short bones? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Next is flat bones. So from the name itself, flat. It will be flat, septa. What is it? Put a flat. So, um, so the flat bones, what you will find, you will find that they are thin. But from the structure also, like you will find that they are thin and they are flat. Okay, matlab patla hoga or thoda matlab septa hoga, they are flat. And uh, they are usually curved, means thoda matlab aise ho. Curved means what? They are not like. Okay, means it will be a bit like not exactly straight but a bit like slender. Okay, they are usually curved, you will find they are usually curved, and also you will find that thin layers of compact bone around the layer of spongy bone. So, like you will find that they are like thin in layer around the spongy bone. Means it's a bit the bone is a bit like spongy, like spongy, uh, spongy, spongy there. And you will find the flat bones in your sternum. This is known as sternum. This is your rib cage. Okay, this is your rib cage. So this uh, portion is known as uh, flat bones. This you will find in sternum, like in your ribs. So this is your ribs. So the ribs will meet at one point. This is known as sternum. This uh, portion you will find in your chest. Okay, in your chest area, you will find this, uh, this bone, which is a flat bone, also known as sternum. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next is. Yes, ma'am. Okay, next is sycamore bones. Okay, so sycamore bones, uh, what you will find that you will find that they are usually small, and you will find that they are round, as well as they are flat. Okay, they are small, they are round, and as well as they are flat. Understand? And uh, what do you, do you find? This is some more bones you will find mostly inside the tendon. It is in your muscle, like in your, they are attached with your muscles. Okay, inside the tendon means they are mostly attached with your muscles. And uh, this is some more bones you will find mostly near the knee. You know the knee, like your leg and your knee. So mostly in your knee portion you will find, as well as in your hands, like they are like joints.
trauma is releasing. Okay, like uh, they connect uh, one bone to the other bone. Okay. So you'll find that they are mostly like uh, yeah, the joints which connects one bone to the other bone. Okay, so um, the systemoid bones, uh, some example of systemoid bones is kneecap. That is known as uh, patella. This you will find in your knee. Okay, it is also known as kneecaps. Like it connects uh, one bone to the other bone. Understand? This is known as patella. Are you clear about systemoid bones? Okay, yeah, ma'am. Okay, next is irregular bones. So somebody may say irregular. They are not regular. Understand? Irregular. So the irregular bones, what happens? Uh, whatever bones we have discussed right now, long bones, short bones, common bones, all this doesn't come under the, this bone, this irregular bone. Okay, it doesn't fit into the previous category. It doesn't fit into the uh, the previous like um, the bones which we have discussed right now. Understand? At the end, you will find that uh, the irregular bones, they are a bit complicated. So from the, from the structure itself, this is the irregular bone, this is the vertebra, which you will find in the backpack, you will see. Okay, vertebra. Whoever has seen, like, uh, you will be able to like, just observe it. And then in your bag only, you will find it, vertebra. Okay, so, um, like, this is, this is the, the irregular bone, which is the vertebra. They are irregular and they are like complicated also in shape. Okay. And some of the examples of irregular bones are hip bones, hip and your hips, commercial milliga, and vertebrates. So this is the vertebra. So this is about the irregular bones. Okay, are you clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Any any uh, any question regarding this topic? Excuse me, ma'am. Anyone? If I if I if I say, okay, for example, the carpal bone is the femur bone is a part of which bone? If I say, will you be able to answer? Titi de Bama, will you be able? If I ask you, like all of a sudden, the femur is under which bone? Is it regular bone? Is it systemic bone? Is it long bone? Is it short bone? If I ask you, will you be able to answer CT de Burma? Yes? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Ah, will you be able to answer? क्या तुम लोग जवाब दे पाओगे अगर मैं मतलब अचानक से ऐसे पूछूं तो यस मैम यस मैम पार्ट ऑफ व्हिच बोन सैमसन कैन यू टेल लॉन्ग बोन हां लॉन्ग बोन लॉन्ग बोन ओके वेरी गुड ओके देन दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडेस क्लास